March 22nd, and this is Citrus TV Now. It's 57 degrees under cloudy skies here in Syracuse. I'm Jesse Cook with today's top stories. Students crowded campus just outside Newhouse this afternoon as pop singer The Kid Leroy made a visit to SU. Kid Leroy is performing tonight at the On Center downtown. While on campus, he handed out t-shirts and even free tickets to his show tonight to students. Many came out in droves to catch just a glimpse of the pop star. Uh, hopefully just to get some merchandise from him or for him to sign the sign or take a picture of me out here. <laughs> that would be good too. <laughs> Elsewhere on campus, right now the Barnes Center is holding an HPV vaccine clinic. If you haven't received your vaccine yet, Barnes is distribu distributing it until 7 o'clock tonight and tomorrow from 4 to 7 p.m. The city of Syracuse is asking for community input as they look, into, look to install new license plate cameras around the city. Advocates for the project say the cameras will help link vehicles with possible crimes in the city. Opponents, however, believe the cameras could violate people's privacy. The city is proposing 26 different locations for these cameras that would be mounted on street poles. The city is taking public comments through this Friday. The Federal Reserve has announced yet another interest rate hike. The Feds kicked up the interest rate by a quarter of a percentage point this afternoon after a two-day meeting. This puts it at the highest rate since the fall of 2007. Well, I like this story. Actually, I love it. In fact, I want some more of it. Country star Tim McGraw will perform at the Turning Stone Event Center in Verona on July 2nd. McGraw was the first artist to perform at Turning Stone way back in 2004. Tickets for McGraw's show go on sale tomorrow and start at $99. Hopefully by then here in central New York, the green grass will indeed have grown. Coming up on Citrus TV now, what might affect your summer plans by the water? That plus your forecast coming up. Put the keys down, Kevin. But I'm gonna drive home. There are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. I guess I have really been looking for love in this dating app. Yep, I'm definitely gonna call a ride home. There are 16 million children struggling with hunger in America. This is a serious problem but one we can solve. Visit feedingamerica.org to help. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're feeding America. Welcome back. The Oneida County Opioid Task Force is asking schools in the county to consider carrying Narcan. This, as an increase in fentanyl, has made its way into drugs nationwide. The task force believes that making Narcan available to students will save lives and raise awareness to the dangers of drug use. Heading further south, a 5,000-mile clump of seaweed is floating in the Atlantic Ocean and could reach the shores of South Florida and Mexico within the next few months. According to scientists, the seaweed can be seen from space. Once it reaches the shore, scientists say it will release a sulfur-like odor and can take weeks to clean up. For reference, the contiguous United States is only 2,700 miles wide. The seaweed is almost double the width of the country. Well, while temperatures have warmed up here in central New York, I wouldn't say it's quite the time to head to the beach just yet. Citrus TV weather anchor Katie Fong Vonsa joins us now with more on how the first week of spring will continue to shape up. Well, Jesse, I would hit the beach a little bit earlier today as it was 63 degrees outside and mostly sunny, but right now it's 59 degrees and clouds started to roll in. It's starting to feel like 57 with those clouds and that wind pushing our way. And if we take a look across the region, everywhere is pretty much the same with Syracuse, Ithaca, and Elmira. In those upper 50s, everywhere else is hanging in those mid 50s and low 50s. But tonight we'll see 50, 45 degrees as the low with a chance of showers, unfortunately, and 7 to 10 mile per hour winds coming out of the Northwest and back to you Jesse. Thank you so much Katie. Coming up on News Live at 6, Forever Orange Week carried on at Syracuse with an acapella performance. Citrus TV reporter Lauren Holdmeyer was at the event and will join us with more when the news full news starts in an hour. That's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV. Now for more of the latest follow Citrus, Citrus TV news on Twitter or check out our website at CitrusTV.com. I'm Jesse Cook, and as I said, the news continues in an hour with Bradley Hoppenstein, Tyler O'Neill, more of Katie Fongbonsa, and myself as well. Take care, Syracuse.